Jennifer here. I'm here to share with you a quick project that I've been playing around with. I had picked up some of these uh, card catalog cards, you know, like um, these old card catalogs cards. So I made this matchbook video. If you haven't seen that, I will link it below so you can watch it. And Lori, Girl on the Ridge, she, she made a ton of those. And I hope, Lori, you don't mind that I keep saying your name. <laughs> but you are very inspiring to me. So I just want you to know that. Anyway, so one day she made this video that had these card catalog cards. And she made them into the matchbooks. And I'm like, oh, that's such a great idea. So I, in, you know, I inspired her. And now she's inspiring me back. I went to make some matchbooks from the card catalog cards. Well, when I went to sew it, I messed up <laughs> and I sewed the sides shut. So on the matchbook, you need to leave the bottom, uh, the sides open and just kind of, uh, you know, either staple the bottom or sew the bottom so that this can slide into it. Well, anyway, so I was like, okay, well, I will just make a little booklet then from these cap cards. So I sewed a ton of them. I've got like, I don't know, 10 or 15 sewn. And then um, I, I've decorated four already. And so I'll show you those real real quick. This is a napkin. And then this is some just a sorry silk bow. And then I added some coffee dyed, or I think these are tea dyed actually, pages. Made a little booklet. And then I used that as a little tuck for this cute little ticket. And this ticket is from kit from Chevy Dabby Duda. And then this one I covered in lace and I used little bits here to um, decorate the front. And you can see that I did some wonky stitching and I added some papers and I, I just sewed down the middle for the papers. And then here's another little tuck in the back. And then this one, I used another uh, napkin that I had got. I got both of these napkins in kits from Ula Love and Ditch Treasures. Here's a Sorry Silk Bow. And then this is a word from Shabby Dabby Duda's kit. A little bit of cheesecloth underneath there. Some more tea dyed papers in here. And another little ticket. So they're really cute, I think, and they'll be cute little inserts for your journal. And then here's one that I covered in pink lace, and I didn't trim the edges because I just thought that was kind of cute that it was, uh, you know, not even. I just added a little bit of uh, flower there, some applique from Ooh La La. On this one, I didn't put any pages in. So you can add the pages or just leave it like that and you can write on the inside. And then here's another little tuck area. So those are really cute. So let's make one real quick. Uh, I probably won't show you how to sew the pages because I'm sure you know how to do that. So I cut some lace already. And here's my, um, my little card. So all you do is fold the end over, you know, for your little tuck, and then you can sew it. And if you don't want to sew it, you can just glue that part there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue the, fab or the lace onto it. So I'm using some art glitter glue. I love the little tip on this and the fact that it doesn't dry shiny like the um, Fabri-Tac, you can just kind of use this on, you know, for open lace like this and you won't see the glue when it dries. But I do put the glue here on, you know, just to kind of attach it. Um, but like this is mostly mesh glue, so it's kind of not gonna, it's hard to, it would be hard to not see the glue. So that's what I love about this art glitter glue.
Anyway, I'm a fan. It was funny one year, I had no idea that this glue actually would freeze solid. So I brought it up when I went to Wisconsin one year. And um, I'm like, oh my, I left it out in the car. We stopped overnight, I think, and I had left it out in the car. And of course, you know, it's freezing. So when I got to my destination and tried to use the glue, it was solid, a solid piece of glue. It was not uh, working any longer. And I thought, oh, well, maybe when I get back home, it'll just get back to normal. No, that didn't happen. So I had to throw that out. I was so bummed. So anyway, uh, this is a little bit bigger than what I wanted. So you can trim it if you would like, or you can leave it uneven. I kind of like a little bit of it uneven. Okay. So I just kind of do that to soften it a little bit. And then let's add some up, okay? Okay, I have a few things I can add to the front here. I have a little piece of applique. Let's see how that looks there. I love these little tiny things because just so adorable. And who thought you could make a little card like this look so cute? <laughs> oh. Oops. Is that up there? There we go, it's so adorable. Oh, and let's not forget to tuck a little ticket in. And that's so cute. And you can add your pages if you would like. So you can do some journaling. I think that would be fun. But there you go, guys. Little, tiny little booklets from using the um, card catalog cards. All right. So thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye for now.